I have collected 47 mid-journey tips and tricks you can use to improve your AI image game. Some of them are more for beginners and some of them are very advanced. I am pretty sure even if you think that you know mid-journey pretty well, there will be at least some of them you didn't know about it. I have also created a guide from them, you can download it for free from the link in the video description. Tip number 1. By adding slash settings, you can change your default settings for model, style and remix mode. Tip number 2. You can add dash dash tile parameter to create seamless patterns and use them as background images or patterns for your different designs. Number 3. If you want to continue a job from the past but cannot find where you did it, you can find it in mid journey, click on the image you want and from these three dots you can say open in discord and it will automatically jump to that message on your discord server. Number 4. If you want to see all the details of one of your generations, you can come here to emojis and send an envelope emoji and Midjourney bot will send all of the details of job as a private message. Number 5. If you want to receive the details for all of the generations, you can type prefer auto DM. So after that, the Midjourney bot will send details as private messages on Discord for all of your generations. Number 6. You can use the dash dash seed parameter to generate the same image again because otherwise it is not possible to generate an image again exactly the same but using the same seed number it is possible to create almost the same images again but there is no guarantee that it will be exactly the same. Number 7 by adding no parameter to the end of your prompt and specifying the things you don't want in your image you can try to eliminate them and if you use the same seed number together with no parameter you can try to adjust your previous images number eight you can bring one of your past generations to the top by typing slash show and add the job id you can find the job id in the details from midjourney bots message or from your midjourney gallery number nine if you want to describe an image and see with which prompts you can create something similar, you can use describe command. Midjourney will generate four different text descriptions and by clicking one of the options, you can generate an image from one of the descriptions. This command is more useful for understanding how to create better prompts by understanding the effects of different keywords. Number 10. From Midjourney gallery, you can directly see the prompts for the image but from these three dots, you can copy the entire comment instead of just the prompt. With this option, it will directly copy all of the parameters used for this image, so you can get a similar result. Number 11. You can add video parameter to end of your prompt to create an animation of the sampling process. Currently, it doesn't work with all the models, and here are all the models you can use with. Number 12. You can use images as an input for your prompt. Midjourney will use these images as a reference. You can either directly drop the image in the message box or right click, copy the image address and then paste it into the beginning of your prompt. After the image link, you can continue to type your prompt. Number 13. By adding dash dash Q or quality parameter and add a value between 0.25 and 2, you can specify the quality of the generation. The values can be different for different models. Here are all the values for different models you can use. If you don't type anything for version 5, the default value is 1, which is the highest one. But for version 4, the default is 1. So by changing it to 2, you can increase the overall quality of the image with more sampling steps. Number 15. If you send a prompt by mistake or want to cancel it because of some reason, you can send a cross emoji to the message and Midjourney will stop generating that prompt. Number 16. If you want to see your remaining fast hours, subscription status or the number of images you created, you can send info command and you will receive this message box with all the information. Number 17. We can choose a default style value from the settings tab, but we can specify a different value by adding S parameter and the value between 0 and 1000. Lower style values create less creative and higher values produce more creative images. You can think of this value as the creative effect of mid journey on your prompt with lower values it will generate more direct results. You can see the comparison of three different values here. Number 18. 
If you want to use Midjourney to create stock images to sell, you can use Wirestock. Upload your image once to Wirestock and they will upload your image to all of these different stock photo sites for you. And now they even created an extension for Discord server. You can add the extension to your Discord from this link. And once you like the image you generated, simply click on the more icon next to the Midjourney upscale image. Go to apps and select upscale and publish. The bot will then upscale your image and send it for sale through your wire stock portfolio. Number 19. You can specify the aspect ratio of the image by adding the AR parameter and the ratio you want like 16 by 9. Different models allow different aspect ratios but for version 5 you can create custom ratios. Here are all of the aspect ratios for different models. Number 20. Expect ratio doesn't only change the ratio of the image, it has an effect on the image itself too. For example, if you want to create a tall building, it may not be possible with a landscape image ratio. You can see the effect of the aspect ratio on the image with the same prompt in these images. Number 21. With the chaos parameter, you can change the ratio of how much the result will be unexpected or reliable. You can choose a value between 0 and 100. The default value is 0. It influences how varied the initial image grids are. High chaos values will produce more unusual and unexpected results and compositions and lower values have more reliable and repeatable results you can see the comparison in these images 22 instead of typing the parameters for aspect ratio style chaos or other similar parameters you can type prefer suffix and then click on the new value and we can add all the default parameters we want to have for example you can add 4 by 5 for aspect ratio to make portrait images all the time these values will be added for all of the generations by default to remove them type prefer suffix again and send it without any value so it will remove all the existing parameters number 23 instead of adding the same parameters all the time we can create custom parameter sets under a single custom parameter with prefer option set in the first box we should name our custom parameter for example wallpaper and in the second part we can add all the parameters we want to call when we use this custom parameter now we can write our prompt and just add dash dash wallpaper as a parameter and all the parameters will be added automatically. Number 24. If you type prefer option list, you can see all of the custom parameters you created. Number 25. You can add Midjourney bot to your own private server, so you can generate comfortably without others' images. All you need to do is find the Midjourney bot in the Midjourney server, click on add the server, and choose the server you want to add. Number 26. You can use Digi models to create anime style images. Number 27. By adding style parameter and a value, you can choose different style modes within a model. For version 5.1, there is one mod which is raw. And for Niji 5 model, there are four different style options like cute, scenic, original, and expressive. Number 28. We can use blend comment to merge different images together. You can upload up to 5 images. 29. We can use double colon to separate different parts of the prompts so they won't influence each other. You can see example of different options in these images. Number 30. In addition to double colon, we can add factors to change their priority like double column 2 or 3 or we can add minus values to decrease or remove some parts number 31 you can use stop comment to stop a generation at a certain percentage the default value is 100 so if you add stop 50 the generation will stop at 50 percent you can see more or less the composition of the image but it will be blurry and lack of details number 32 Use a prompt formula for more control and organized workflow. If you use same kind of formula, it is easier to see which part of the prompts has a certain effect on the final image. So you can change a part in the prompt to see the difference. Number 33. The first words in the prompts have higher priority on the overall generation. 
so place the important keywords first. Number 34. In shorter prompts, each keyword has a stronger influence. You can think of it as if you put 10 keywords, all of them will have approximately 10% influence, but if you have 50 of them, each will have 2%. Number 35. You can create images only with emojis. Number 37. You can use camera and lens types to specify the style and the type of image you want to generate. Like if you want to have a close-up macro shot, you can add 100mm lens to your prompt. Or you can try other styles by typing disposable camera or Polaroid. Number 38. You can use other camera settings in your prompt like long exposure to create images like this or time lapse images like this or try double exposure to have this kind of effect in your images. Number 39. Define the lighting of the image with keywords like golden hour, blue hour, sunbeams or backlighting and see what kind of effects you have in your images. Number 40. Check this amazing document to see what kind of keywords you can use for different styles images you want to generate. There are lots of different categories you can search for and you can find the links in the video description. Number 42. You can use repeat parameter to create multiple generations at once. If you add dash dash r5 to the end of your prompt, Midjourney will create 5 generations at once instead of a single one. It can help to speed up the process and later you can choose one to continue with. Midjourney will ask if you are sure to generate 5 instead of 1 and click yes. And here all of the generations started together. 43. Use the name of the artist you inspire from and want to use their style in your image. You can add them as a keyword to your prompt. Number 44. You can use a prompt builder like Promptomania to add this kind of references easier. First, add your base image or base description for the main object you want to create. And later you can choose from a large variety of options. If you want to use one of them, simply click on it. And once you are done, your prompt is ready in this box. You can copy and directly paste it into Midjourney. Number 45. We can use ChatGPT to create alternatives to our prompt. It works best with a prompt formula, so create one even if you don't use it. After that, simply paste this formula to chat and say create alternatives in different styles. I will also say to add our custom parameter set, so it will be ready to copy and paste directly into Midjourney. And let's ask for 10 alternatives. Number 46. When you have an image prompt, use the image weight parameter to adjust the importance of the image versus text portion of the prompt. If you don't use it, the default value is set as 1. For version 5, you can use anything between 0 to 2. Higher image weight values mean the image prompt will have more impact on the finished job. The values can be different for different versions. For example, this option is not available to use with version 4. And here you can see the different image weights. Number 47. You can help to improve the mid-journey by ranking pair of images. On the mid-journey website, on the left menu, we have the rank pairs button. If we click on this page, we can see two images with their prompts and choose the one we like the most. It is pretty fun to see all of these images in very different styles. And usually before they release a new version, you can view pictures generated with that new model as a preview and see what to expect from the new update. So which ones you didn't know about? It, please let me know in the comments. I hope it was helpful for you. Don't forget to get the free guide from the link in the video description and see you in the next video.